Hi, I'm Tim Berglund with Confluent. I'd like to show you how to detect failed brokers using Confluent Control Center. Now, to do this, I'm going to be using the Control Center demo we have up on GitHub. That's at confluentinc/cp-demo. There's a whole separate video we've made showing you how to get this set up. Make sure you watch that and follow along with the steps if you haven't yet. That'll enable you to do everything I'm doing in this video if you want to follow along with this one as well. Now, taking a step back, let's just remind ourselves, Kafka is a distributed stream processing platform. And like any respectable distributed system, it's fault tolerant. Losing a broker isn't the end of your life, but as an administrator, you still care when systems go down. In this video, we'll use Control Center to detect failed brokers. We'll see what Control Center can tell us about when something like that goes wrong in a cluster. Now, uh, what does Control Center even tell us about our Kafka cluster? As you can see here, we can tell the number of brokers in the cluster. In this case, our demo environment is starting with two brokers. If we click on that number two, it shows us that in the last 30 minutes, we've had these two brokers for that whole time. We have zero under-replicated partitions over those last 30 minutes, which is nice. Uh, because what it means if you have no under-replicated partitions, that means if you lose a broker, you aren't in danger of losing any data. So that's a good state for your cluster to be in. And if we keep scrolling down, we'll see our two brokers there in the list. There's broker one and broker two. Of course, this cluster in this pristine demo environment running in Docker containers is a perfect cluster. So we're going to have to do something mean to it to break it. I'm going to go to the terminal and just Docker Compose stop our second broker. Uh, that'll shut down the container that that broker is running in. This is a polite shutdown, by the way, when this happens. Uh, so the broker is doing a controlled shutdown itself inside that container. Now, what do we expect to see back in Control Center? Well, we expect for the count of brokers to go down. I guess that's obvious. And for the number of under-replicated topic partitions to go up. And we'll explain that in a minute. The second part there is true because we're using a replication factor of two. So every partition of every topic on these two brokers uh, is going to be replicated twice. So by stopping one broker, one of those two replica partitions is going to be inaccessible. And by the way, we're focusing our attention on just a single topic here. So there could be other topics with different replication factors. And in general, anything is possible. But we're just going to narrow in on one thing here. So back in Control Center, we see just that. Broker count has gone down from two to one. That's good. And under-replicated partitions went up. And that's also good, at least in the sense that we're getting an accurate picture of what's going on in the cluster. Of course, it's bad in a real cluster if that happens. Now, also note that active controllers went down temporarily. So that little notch in the curve there. That's because Broker 2 happened to be the cluster controller. And so the cluster, which was really just the one remaining broker at that point, had to elect a new controller. That, that remaining broker had to appoint itself the controller since the previous controller had gone down. And you see that notch goes down, comes right back up, and all of that worked. And we can watch the history unfold in retrospect here in Control Center. If it weren't for Control Center, we maybe never would have known. So let's look at the topic level now. Let's look at the topic called Wikipedia parsed. That's the one topic we're going to be focusing on and view its details. Now, we have interesting information about this topic. The topic has two partitions, and each partition has two replicas. The replicas were on broker one and two, which again seems like a pretty reasonable way to distribute replicas. But notice for broker two, the replicas are orange now. This indicates that they are out of sync. So Control Center still thinks that broker exists and still thinks the partitions exist, which they do. It just knows that the broker is down and it knows that writes are not replicating to those partitions. And so there they get this out of sync label. Another way to say this is that they have fallen out of the partition leaders in sync replica list, also called the ISR list. So you've probably heard of that before. And we see it happening right here. It's pretty cool. We have visibility from the broker level to the topic level all the way down to individual partitions. Now, let's have a quick look at alerts. We're not going to drill into that in this video. We've got a separate one that focuses on alerts. But I do have some triggers pre-configured as a part of the demo environment. If you look here, you see two of them. One is called under-replicated partitions, and one is called consumption difference. The trigger under-replicated partitions fires when a broker reports a non-zero number of under-replicated partitions. Or another way to say that is an ISR list that has more than one thing in it. And that's what happened, if you recall, when we stopped that second broker. As I said before, under-replicated partitions can affect the durability of data in the cluster. 
if all of your partitions are out of sync and then your lead broker goes down, you will lose data. So this is absolutely the kind of thing you want to know about. This is what alerts are for. Now, let's get things cleaned up. I'll go back to the terminal and restart the container for broker two. And when the broker comes back up, we see we're back to normal. Kafka has recovered properly. This is the happy ending that every administrator is hoping for. Of course, as an operator, it's really the failures you're looking for. And you can see here that Control Center gives you visibility into when brokers go down, when you've stopped the container, or it's an honest failure that you didn't cause just to test something out. This is just the kind of tool you need when you're running a cluster and eyes are on you.